Hello and welcome to General Biology. My name is Dr. Dutton and I'll be your instructor for this course. I'm just going to talk a little bit about how to navigate through the course and how to get to all the course content. So when you enter into the page, this is what you're going to see. Announcements are going to be piled up here on the right hand side and then you'll see various tabs that you can click through to get to the information. You can access the content right here through the table of contents. Additionally, you can just click on content. Content gives you a nice list view of all of the items that you have to do for this course. So the course navigation instructions, this video will be posted here once it's created. Under the syllabus tab, you're gonna find the syllabus for the course and some additional information of communicating with me and instructor drops and census reporting. Under the textbook information tab, you're going to find information about how to order your textbooks. For this course, we do use the free OpenStax textbook, but we use the McGraw-Hill Connect Virtual Biology Labs. So you will have to purchase access to get access to the labs, and there's instructions of how to purchase that access here. You can either purchase access through the bookstore, or you can purchase access directly through McGraw-Hill Connect. Either way, when you're ready to purchase access, you're gonna go into the learning modules, and you're gonna find that first lab. So lab one graded tutorial. You're gonna click on that and it'll take you out to the McGraw-Hill Connect site. And that's where it will have you create an account. You definitely wanna use your um, official name that you registered for courses or gateway with. And you also wanna use your gateway issued email address. Once you create an account, it's gonna ask you to either enter in the code that you pre-purchased at the bookstore, or it's gonna have you purchase access right there on the spot. So you can choose either option, but you will have to purchase that access. The pre-work module has the items that you need in order to complete for pre-work. So to complete the pre-work, you're gonna watch the welcome video or the introductory video, which is up here, and then the course navigation video, which is this video that you're watching right now. Then you're going to purchase access to connect and complete that first lab. It is a very short graded tutorial on how to navigate through the labs. Then you're going to review the laboratory safety training materials. When you click on this link, it's going to take you to a second page where you're going to find some training slides and a training checklist. To get back to the previous page, you can either click up here on this blue link to get back to the pre-work module, or you can click the back arrow on your web browser and it will take you back. Then you're gonna take the biology lab safety tra uh, training quiz. Now, although this is an online course, we still have to cover the course competency of laboratory safety. So that's why you see us talking about lab safety here in the pre-work. Then you'll see content broken down into each module. So for each module, it starts with a lesson plan and lecture content. So when we open up that link, you'll see that there's a brief introduction. There's a study guide that you will have access to. You'll wanna download the study guide and use it to take notes on. So it contains all the terms that you're responsible for for that module. And while you're watching my lecture videos or reading through the textbook, this is a good guide or template to help you take notes. Then you're gonna see the slides. The slides are the PowerPoint slides that I use to go through the content in my videos. The videos are broken down into several parts because it's easier to chunk information into small, more manageable pieces. Plus, if there's something that you want to review, instead of going back through the whole three hour lecture content, you can go specifically to the lecture video that you want to review the content on. So each one of these will link out to a video in the YouTube channel that I have. Right here is where you're gonna access your free textbook. So you're gonna click on the link and this is gonna take you directly to the, the chapter in the textbook that you're responsible for reviewing. Here, I also provide Quizlet flashcards. So when you click on these, they will link out to Quizlet, and Quizlet is where I created flashcards based on all of the terms that you're responsible for for that chunk of content. So when you get access to these flashcards, you can click and see the term and the definition, and then you can go to the next card. 
Class is a group of similar orders. Responsiveness, reaction to change inside or outside the body. So you can study the terms directly here in the flashcards. There's additional options for you to learn, test, match, cue chat. There's a lot of different things that you can do, but flashcards are a really good way to help with the memorization, and these are all put together for you. Then it says to complete the chapter one graded questions assignment in Brightspace and then complete the labs. So that's all of what you would have to do for the first part of that module. Now you have to pay close attention to due dates because in the syllabus, it tells you when the entire module is due, not when each individual part is due. So you wanna make sure that you are keeping on top of the content and getting all of the items done according to the due dates. So that's one part of the module, but the second part of the module is down here, and it's set up in a very similar way. You have the slides, the lecture videos. Here you're going to see some supplemental videos, and you will see supplemental videos all throughout, and those are just extra videos to give you a different perspective, or maybe there's better graphics that they can show you in those videos and explain it a little bit differently. So um, definitely watch those supplemental videos. Just know that the supplemental videos are not corresponding to my slides. So these videos that I record go directly slide by slide, uh, while the supplementary videos are really just to give you supplemental information and a better understanding of the content. Here's the new link to the next part of the textbook that you should read and the Quizlet flashcards. It tells you to complete the graded questions assignment in Brightspace, complete the labs, and then take the module test by the due date in the syllabus. So going back to the module here, I just want to go back to the start of the course so you know exactly where to go to get to that content. So you can either click on the content button here, or if you want, you can go down here and click on the learning modules. But under content, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on learning modules. And we're going to go to module one. So module one is listed right here under learning modules. Once you're in module one, this is that lesson plan um, that I had provided to you right here. So this is what this is, the general biology lesson plan. So that's all of your lecture content, and that's basically a guide of how to get you through the course content. The actual assignments are going to be embedded into Brightspace. So here's the chapter one graded questions. These graded questions, you get unlimited time, unlimited attempts, and you want to keep doing them until you get 100%. These are going to help give you practice questions for the module exam. This is a lab. So this is lab two, scientific method. Then you have the next set of graded questions, and then you have the next set of labs that link out to McGraw-Hill. And then down here, you'll see the graded test. Every module is structured in a similar way. So module two, you'll have the lesson plan, graded questions, lab, graded questions, labs, and test. And all of these are gonna be identical all the way up until you get to the end. So you have the lesson plan and then the graded questions and labs, but then you also have the final exam. And the final exam is a cumulative exam that's going to cover everything that was discussed in the course. more in Brightspace here. So the virtual meeting room, if you ever need to meet with me, you will, you can click on this link right here in the virtual meeting room, and that's how you can get in contact with me. Supplemental items just give you additional items that will help you with the course. Diversity inclusion talks about diversity, equity, and inclusion in the sciences, and there's a lot of different resources and organizations that you can be a part of if you're interested in that topic. Student resources will give you additional resources, and um, then there's additional resources which will help you uh, be successful in your course and in your future here at Gateway. So anytime you want to get back to the main page of the course, you just click Course Home. Anytime you want to review all of the content, you click on Content. 
And then anytime you want to know your grade for the course, you're going to click on grades. When you click on grades, you're going to see your overall final grade for the course. And then you're going to see the grade item and the weight achieved for each one of the grade items. So you can see all the grade items listed there. For example, the final exam is worth 15% of your final grade. So when you complete that, it'll show you a score um, or a percentage that you got and then what percent that gets gives you toward your overall final grade. Tests are 50% of your final grade. So if the average of all of your tests was a 40%, you'd see, um, or sorry, was a 80%, you'd see 40 out of 50 and so forth. So then that's how your grade is calculated and you will see how that is um, accumulated into your final grade. If you ever have any questions, the best way to contact me is through my email, duttonn at gtc.edu. That's d-u-t-t-o-n-n -N at gtc.edu. Looking forward to a great semester.